What's up guys, Metaphor here, doing a commentary on Fiddlesticks Jungle. Um, I'm against Hecarim, and uh, we are running Electrocute with Cheap Shot, Zombie Ward, Ultimate Hunter, and then we're also running Gathering Storm and Absolute Focus for maximum damage and for extra ultimates later on. Um, we're playing against Hecarim in the jungle, which is a pretty OP champion right now. Uh, Fiddlesticks obviously not super strong right now. Uh, I just kind of wanted to play him because, uh, you know, I used to be a Fiddlesticks one trick back in the day. I know a lot of uh, my newer viewers and stuff like that wouldn't really know that. But um, back in Season 4 is the season where I first started grinding ranked originally. And I went from silver to 400 LP master in uh, one season. So, um, yeah, I kind of did that while one tricking fiddle. I actually had a thousand games in that one season on just fiddlesticks, um, in which I had exactly 601 wins and 400 losses. And I have the screenshot on my Twitch. If you guys want to check that out yourselves, it's uh, on my Twitch channel. Just type in exclamation point fiddlesticks. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick before I get in the game. Here you go. This was my account in season four. <laughs> so, as you can see, pretty good stats to be honest. Like, um, I guess the KDA could be better, but I kind of went ham with this character. You feel me? Holy crap, apparently I had 24 kills in one game before. That's actually so much. But uh, yeah, I used to be filled one trick, so I kind of know what I'm doing on this champion. Uh, he's always been one of my favorite champions in League of Legends history. And uh, yeah, he's, you know, not really in a good spot in the jungle, but I'm sure we can make him work. So against Hecarim, obviously we can't fight him in the early game. Um, he kind of just out damages us. Like he, he, the, the, the issue with Fiddlesticks is that nowadays there's so much damage in the game where most champions can honestly just out heal your drain. Or they can out damage your drain. Um, and that's kind of crazy because, you know, Fiddlesticks is... Uh, Fiddlesticks' drain is just so powerful. It's just kind of funny that it can kind of be stopped like that. I'm gonna start wolves here. Um, starting wolves here allows me to do a trick with the blue and the ground before I can do them very fast. I only want to hit the big one, so that the small ones don't die. You actually do these pretty fast. And then I can basically walk up and do my blue and gromp at the same time. Which allows me to clear the camp super super quick. Super super efficient. And uh, yeah. Hecarim's more than likely going to do the clear where um, he does red birds into crab crab since I'm playing fiddlesticks uh, I can't really stop it but that's kind of something you just got to get over <laughs> like literally it's just something you're gonna have to get over you play a weak champion you're gonna have to take the L sometimes you know he's actually not taking it yet so I might be able to yoink this real quick fiddlesticks doesn't really do this that well um, but his E does lower the resistances on it so you want to use that early on and then you can kind of kite it into one area, so it's kind of forced to stick around. If I was more experienced right now in Fiddle, like I'm kind of rusty, you can actually just put it here and it gets forced to go back and forth right here. And you can actually completely own the crab, but I'm a bit rusty, so my Fiddle mechanics aren't on point. Should be a kill. Ooh, Castio didn't commit anything to that play. Castio could have flashed W and he would have died, but he didn't want to commit. 100% should have been a kill there, but it's fine. Unless she didn't level up her W, but that's something she should be communicating with me. Because obviously, as a jungler, you're going to assume your 
teammates have every ability leveled up. Oh well. That kind of sucks that I lost my flash, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. However, we definitely should have been getting a kill there. Just smiting that in case he's actually sitting in that bush. So something that uh, Fiddle Six players do that I think uh, you know is a pretty big mistake that I see like lower elo fiddle players doing. Um, just whenever I've seen them, like obviously I don't really pay attention to lower elo players that much. But whenever I have seen like lower rated players play fiddle, they always max Q second when E second E max second is actually just way better. The extra fear time is not nearly as important as having the extra damage on your E. Your E actually does an incredible amount of damage uh, if you rank it up second. I'm just going to sit here for counter gank, which might come. Okay. Actually, they need my help shoving this. If not, they can restine the Hecarim and I don't want that to happen. Make sure I don't take any CS. Now I'm just going to head back over to the top side. Get right on that. We still have our pink ward from the start of the game here. So it's not like we're going to get counter jungled. And if we do, we'll see it. Oh, okay, we saw it. <laughs> um, and the reason why we do like the start where we have two pink wards level 1 is because Fiddle 6 doesn't need potions. So taking two pink wards level 1 is really good. Um... Yeah, basically, just due to the fact that you don't need potions, it's pretty useful to grab the little pink ward, in my opinion. It's something that I used to do a long time ago, and I mean, that aspect of the game hasn't really changed. Hecarim could still be topside, so I'm going to hover this way. Oh, I think I really just flashed on her. Nice. So, I mean, this is a really, really slow early game, but it is Fiddlestix into Hecarim, and my main job is to not lose the game before I hit 6. Fiddlesticks has good gank potential pre-6, especially if you can come from behind. Um, obviously, this game it didn't work out, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Like, a lot of people always have, like, this mentality where they'll play, like, quote-unquote, like, level 6 junglers, and, like, they don't want to pressure the map before they hit 6, but, like, that's, touch that's such a bad mentality, and you should never really, um... You should never really, like... Just, you should never really have the mentality that like you're not going to do anything. You know what I mean? You always want to be proactive. You always want to be looking for stuff. Like, I didn't, I wasn't planning on ganking mid that early this game, but it was actually in a really good gankable position, so that's why I went for it. I'm actually going to try to, I'm going to try to sneak a pink ward in their jungle here. I'm not really too scared of Hecarim here. <clears throat> I'm one camp away from six right now, so I'm just going to complete that. I'm assuming Hecarim is reset to his top side right now. Also, the last time I played Fiddlesticks, dragons were actually pretty shit. But now that they've made dragons a lot more uh, better to grab, you know, they give you 100 gold now. They give you decent XP now. And, like, the rewards they give you aren't that bad. Like, I can't remember what it was, but I remember there was, like, a, it was the old dragon that used to be in the game was so bad. It wasn't the one that gave you gold, but it gave you like a certain bonus every time you got the first one. It gave you a certain bonus every time you got the second one and stuff like that. And like, I can't remember exactly what they were, but I just remember like they were shit. Like they were actual shit bonuses. Just gonna grab a plate here. My top side might get taken by doing this. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't, but there's nothing I can do about it. Oh wow, that was a very bad Hecarim gank. My Cassio misplayed it. She still gets a kill, because they really fucked up. Oh my gosh, they really fucked up. <laughs> that kind of hurt to watch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so far so good. Uh, we are beating Hecarim in the early game as Fiddle. 
we aren't really doing too much right now, but it's not really our job, right? Like, our job isn't to hard win the early game. That's Hecram's job. Um, our mid's doing fine on its own. Our top's doing fine on its own. Uh, we're kind of getting lucky with our laners this game, but we're kind of just playing optimally. Like, we're not really going for any super risky stuff. Most of our plays are pretty calculated and guaranteed. Like, that bottom gank was totally fine. Like, there was there was no drawback to going for that gank. I knew that if I went for that gank, it was 100% going to work. Nice. Yeah, we're getting kind of lucky with our teammates this game, though, that's for sure. They still haven't found our pink ward, which is really good. And honestly, with the way the game is going right now, I don't mind just clearing down a bottom lane again. I'm just going to clear back down a bottom lane. Probably look for ocean sooner, sooner rather than later, because the sooner you get ocean, the better. And Cassio can use ocean really well because she spams her mana pool. Um, my Aurelia is absolutely owning the Kale, so. Ocean on her will be really good. And just in general, like, it's good to deny it off them, so. I really is getting a juicy TP flank. I could have probably stopped this camp and went down here a bit earlier. I'm still gonna try to make it though. Oh, baby. Well, that was almost really cool, but it's, it was still pretty cool. <laughs> it was almost a pretty big ult. Whatever. You'll notice that I didn't drain instantly when I landed, and that's because I didn't want to CC myself. If you drain as soon as you ulti, you get a lot less ulti damage off. Now, if they're CC'd and you go for the drain, then it's fine. But if they're not CC'd and you start draining, you're just going to let them run out of your ultimate. And that's not what you want to do, obviously. So yeah, Fiddle can slow Dragon at full HP. The only issue is that it's super fucking slow. That's literally the only issue. Like, Fiddle Six is one of the... Well, he has the healthiest solo Dragon. It's just so fucking slow, man. Which is why, like, I usually just don't recommend people soloing Dragon. Because people always ask me in Twitch chat, there's like, Oh, Metaphor, like, at what level can you solo Dragon on this champion, this champion, this champion? And it's like, honestly, you can solo dragon super early on so many characters, but you have to start, you have to try to figure out, like, when is it actually worth it to solo dragon, and when is it worth it to go and take jungle camps? Because the time that you spend doing it is actually a big, big deal that people don't seem to think about. I mean, I feel like the lower rank you are, the less and less you think about time wasting and stuff like that. Good flash. It'd be funny if we killed him somehow. I want to look for a bot play. I have my ulti up again. We have ultimate hunter stacks catching up, so our ultimate's going to be on a pretty short cooldown soon. Honestly, I don't even mind diving this. Oh damn, he cancelled it. I thought I could time my ulti with his CC, but I used it too late. I could have used my ulti earlier and it would have been Wait, how did he die? Okay. Someone doesn't know how Fiddle 6 works. actually kill this guy here. <laughs> oh shit, he almost got outplayed actually. Damn. Whatever.
kind of feel bad for my top laner because he's doing really well, but now he's just getting ganked. And he's dying to all of them, which really sucks. Also, it was really bad that we died in bot during that gank, but whatever. We're still really strong. Our top laner is still strong. Our mid laner is still strong. We're still looking good on the board right now. It's just some unfortunate casualties took place. Oh, it's actually good that I stopped them from getting the final play. Oh, are they trying to scrap? Cause I'm trying to fucking scrap. So yeah, now that we got some points in our E, you guys are going to notice how much damage it starts doing here. Dragon's up in 130, so I have time to look for a topside play. Basically, whenever your team does the lane swap thing, you kind of just want to play with your bot lane. You want to play with whatever side of your map has the numbers on it. Unless you're playing something like Evelyn and you're trying to make picks in the side lane. Kind of blows. There's really nothing I can do about what's happening right here. Damn, Brom or er, Nautilus didn't use his spells properly at all there. He could have used the spells much earlier and we would have got a double kill instantly, but he he really didn't understand that we could make that play happen. Which is fine, he doesn't play the fiddle sticks very often, so it's understandable I guess. Jesus Christ, what did I just watch? Hecarim's pretty fed now because he got all those free kills off top lane, which sucks. But that's kind of just how how she goes. We can still win this game, we just gotta start playing smarter around uh, my ultimate. If I'm, like, I'm really strong right now, if my teammates just go in with me, we will hard win a fight. Mm. I guess I'm down to do dragon here, but I'd rather have my ultimate up. <clears throat> okay, that's not bad. I'm <clears throat> just gonna go for my birds here. I want to get my 11 pretty badly here, so we're just gonna try to farm that real quick. I think I think Hecarim's gonna try to go in the side lane and kill my Cassio at this point. So I think if I go down there, I can actually get a free kill. Hecarim has Triforce now, which makes him a bit hard to deal with. He's very strong. I mean, I'm pretty strong too, but. I think Cassio's making this a little bit obvious. Yeah. So obvious if I come from this angle because we just killed the ward. So I'd rather try to swing around this side of the fight and then they'll maybe just walk right into me and die. The issue is Hecker might come flying through this side. Yep. Yeah, I really wish we just let me make the pick on Hecker bot side. This is actually snowballing into really negative things. Luckily, uh, I didn't have I didn't use my ulti there, so I still have it. If they try to siege here, we can actually win a fight. I 
guess I don't want to. <clears throat> Got my Zanyas. I wish I got to use my stopwatch. I think the longer we let this game go on for, the harder we're gonna go scaled. Like, they have a Sivir and a fucking KO. Oh, jeez. I was trying to fear the Sivir there, but... Holy shit, my ultimate cooldown is actually so short. I think I'm just gonna move into death cap here. Pretty strong. Also like the main carry of our team, so I need to have the most damage possible. Hacker was gonna go for it really here. We can clear this midwave here and fight them if they come. <clears throat> Wanna kill that plant so they have a harder time of getting harder time getting in here. If they do try. Looks like they'll just concede, which I think is the right call by them. I don't think it makes any sense when Mickens has this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to make sure I didn't get caught in a choke there. Hecarim coming behind us and then Rumble coming from the side right here. Which is why you didn't see me walk into the jungle. Ooh, they don't see me here. Nice little ultimate there for the boys. I need my teammates to stop it at 3k. Nice, man. Alright, let's calm down. Nice, dude. Let's go. That was actually so well played. I like it, I like it.
Okay, that's all I need, so I'm just gonna back off now. <clears throat> Boom, we just got like 230 AP off that. That's so insane. Let's go, boys. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we can do here. We do fat damage now, boys. Fat damage. Whenever you're playing Fiddlesticks, or a champ like Zack, someone who wants to like flank or engage on the side, you want to go mid instead of a side lane, because there's more areas for you to get in from. Say you're going top, you can only come in from so many angles, right? But if you're going through mid, there's so many angles that you can come from when you're uh, flanking mid. So typ yeah, typically when you're playing someone like Zack, playing someone like Six, you know, these champs that just have to go over a wall to get in, even like Kane or someone, which I know you guys like to play, uh, sieging mid is really, really good for you compared to sieging side lanes. Shouldn't matter if I die here. You should win the game. GG. The fiddle six carry, boys. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I played fiddle, man. Jesus, that was fun. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching.